Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing. We've shifted locations just to keep everyone on their toes and also just a heads up, uh, usually we hide and do this when there's someone else watching the desk, but today there's nobody watching in the desk, so if someone comes in, we'll just have to like, we're like one of those trucks that has the sign on the back that says, may stop <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> yep okay dvds <laughs> one box of dvds i think there's maybe like nine or ten in here and it's the perfect time to get these on the shelf before people are just like sitting around their house wishing they had a dvd agreed um first one is operation finale oh with ben kingsley and hmm. wait what is the other guy's name oscar isaac a, he's a star wars guy oh. right yeah so like really famous people but i've never heard of this it's based on a true story oh about uh, World War II. Interesting. Oh, they're in Argentina. Huh. Looks very dramatic. Colette, starring Kira Knightley, who does not in that picture look like Kira Knightley to me. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not very good at recognizing people, but I don't know. She's made herself look different. And then she marries someone and then is in Paris and then becomes a ghostwriter for her famous male writer husband. I don't know if this is based on it's a like true a story. Historical huh. drama. Oh, it says it says the story behind Colette. So I don't know if that means it's based on something. Okay. Sounds like Next. it could have been. Maybe. Mm. The Miseducation of Cameron Post with Chloe Grace Moretz, really popular young actress. This is Again, based on a YA novel. This. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. About a girl, like, coming out in maybe a rural area. I hope I'm not making that up. No, that looks about right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the book was really popular. Uh, Tom Cruise. Oh, remember I said we were getting two of these? This Here is the is. second one. The second Mission Impossible Fallout. I did watch that. Yeah? Um, yeah, it was just what you'd expect. Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise. I mean, Cruise. sometimes that's all you want is just what you expect. Yeah. <laughs> It's good with me. Oh, I'm so excited. Me too. About I'm this excited one. about this one. The house with a clock in its walls. I really wanted to see it when it was in the theater, but I just missed it. Otherwise, I was a little nervous. I want. I feel like my kids are old enough to watch it, but I was not up for taking them to it in the theater just in case they got too scared. It's a magical adventure. And I read the book because I'd never read the book was when good? I was a kid. It was okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Jack Black just really looks like he's like. This is the movie made for him. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they'll be singing. Um, I don't know. I didn't... I feel like I probably would have loved it more if I, like, read it first as a kid. Interesting. I can watch it. Peppermint. That's an interesting title for a movie, and it's starring Jennifer Garner, looking very serious, uh, and... Yeah, not one that I want to see. It starts off, I think, with her husband and child being uh, killed. Yep, that is how it starts. And then she takes revenge. Mm, yeah, not my kind of thing, but people do like those revenge stories. I, I don't really like the part where the husband and kids get killed. Yeah. Um, Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 11.9. I've heard a little bit about this. I probably won't see it, but um, I think he has a lot of really strong followers who love yeah. his stuff. So. Yeah. I, his other movies have been really popular here, so... Yeah. Equalizer 2 with Denzel Washington, which I think is just the sequel to The Equalizer. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I haven't seen this one, so I don't... Uh, da -da. Action. Oh, it says it's the first sequel of Denzel Washington's re career. That's sort of an interesting thing to put on the back because it actually doesn't yeah. have anything to do with the movie. <laughs> it's like, maybe they're trying it's to just say like, this is like such a good sequel. <laughs> it's like, fun fact. Like, Denzel Washington's in this one. <laughs> Oh, Venom. Oh, nice. I didn't realize we were getting this. Another one I wanted to see in theaters, even though uh, it Looks didn't get the best reviews. No, but I mean, I feel like you know what you're going to get. Tom Hardy and some... <laughs> and a weird mask. And a weird mask, right. Like some violence, some scares, and just go with it, right? Mm. Maybe? I would go with it. Okay, I'll watch it. A Simple <clears throat> Favor, starring Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick, both looking really, like, sharp on the cover. Wow. And it's about a mommy vlogger who seeks to uncover the truth behind her best friend's sudden disappearance. So I did oh, see this in the theater. Did. And it was, like, 
if you liked, um, I don't, Girl on a Train. Gone Girl? Or Gone Girl. Like that kind of a thing where there's like, there's like a mystery and you just, yeah. like, you just want to know what happens and it's kind of twisty. That's what this is. But Anna Kendrick, I, I like Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively and they both make this kind of more watchable, I think. So, I would recommend <laughs> That's it. That's all the movies we have. We will put them on the shelf and then you can come check them out. We'll see you after Christmas. Yeah, have a good holiday. Bye.